What is up guys? It's that time of year again where the sugar ants start moving in. It's not like I have a big infestation, but if you see one, there's probably 10,000 in there somewhere. So I got a little formula I'm going to show you guys and it's going to take care of them real quick. Check it out. I do two separate concoctions. I don't know how big of a difference it makes, but I've heard that if you use both of them, it makes the ants go away quicker. So that's why I'm going to do it. For this, you need three total ingredients. You're gonna need borax, powdered sugar, and maple syrup. Obviously, I use Mrs. Butterworth because it's the tastiest of syrup. First, I'm just mixing the powdered sugar with the borax. It's all about the ratio, so I wanna do three parts of powdered sugar for one part borax. Doesn't really matter how many you do as long as you keep the ratio about the same. And I just wanna make sure I have enough to take care of the ant problem that I have right now. I just go ahead and mix them together and I whisk them so I get it as fine as I can get it so it's easier for the ants to carry it away and you want to make sure that they can't separate the borax from the powdered sugar. Once it's mixed together nice and fine, they're good to go. You don't have to do anything else. Just set it aside and work on the next part. The next and I think more important concoction is the syrup. So I'm using nine tablespoons right now. Like I said, it's the same ratio. You just want to go ahead and do three parts syrup and one part borax. So I'm doing nine tablespoons of syrup and three tablespoons of borax. And once you get the borax into the syrup, you wanna go ahead and boil it. And so you wanna get make sure that all of those little chunks of borax are thoroughly mixed into the syrup. And then once I do that, I add a little bit of water. And the reason is it's gonna make it last longer without drying out. And it's gonna make it easier for the ants to soak it up. I put both of my mixtures into a shallow dish. It's not important to mix them together. I just want to make sure they're in the same place and they're in the place where the ants are located. And the shallow dish makes it easier for the ants to get up there. It took a little while for the ants to find the mixture, but once they did, they sure went crazy. But it didn't take very long and you could start to notice that slowly there's less and less ants. And that's exactly what we're looking for. Obviously, after 24 hours, there's nowhere near as many ants as there were the day before. I'm going to leave it out for a couple days, make sure I get any stragglers, but usually this will take care of them for the season. And if I have to, I'll do a second one, but usually one will do just fine. After months of work and testing, I finally get to put my budget boat build through its paces, and frankly, I'm not disappointed. I'm working on the video right now, so expect to see that pretty soon. 